Yes, my people, yes, my people. It's the next wonderful morning, you know? Next wonderful Sunday morning. So we come back to Portland, but we don't reach that far in Portland. We're on the border, right at the border, St. area and Portland, you know? Yeah, man, and you know? Spearfishing trip once more. Two of us this time, me and Canada only. Yeah, man, and um, you know, we, we left out about after. Uh, about after six, um, the car stuck on one truck for coming on the beach side with us. Yeah, man. Stuck. And some other spear fishermen are gassy and stop and give us a hand, push it out of the mud because they know, say, the mouth road there will be mud on it. Yeah, but oh, we come out safely. The car just full of be mud on it, you know. Yeah, man. But you know. There and the water flat and nice this morning, so we go so we can find this man. All right, this morning, the, the species we are gonna look like red bellies, quabs, gold tail, and pinky jacks, and grunts, and them type of fish. We're not really half of the barra this morning, but however, do if any barra come across, we take a one or a two, but me now go past this way the barra them. Yeah man, so we there, beach side look nice and everything as I say see flat, you know, so they are get ready you know, you know that early but um, the sea flat and the sun is out so we don't have to hurry to go out there because we don't have to worry so you see how it get rough on us, so yeah man, come with us my people, alright? So as I mentioned earlier on, we wasn't targeting any big fish, we were after some dinner size fish. So this jack start the morning. The visibility was okay, so the idea was to head down the sea to where we see some red bellies and gold tails the last time we came here. We were seeing a few jacks in the earlies. So this was my second fish, a butterfish. This mackerel came in close to us, but I saw it when it already passed. I made a dive there for a gold tail, but the butterfish didn't reach all the way down to the boy. It started to tangle me. So right here I saw a huge red belly. I make off tight. But 
this one head down in the rocks. We wasn't seeing a lot of fish like the last time. They were one and two this time around. The last time we came here as I mentioned, the red bellies and gold tails, they were plentiful. The place is empty this time. But nevertheless, we search. I saw a chung fish here, you can see it, but I was weighing my mind if I should take it. These were a few quabs, a little bit small, but this one was on a little size. I spear it, but it tore off. I saw a grunt here, but when I got down, the grunt moved up in the rock. This nice jock swam up, but it made a hasty retreat when it saw me. Next drop to the string. We always see these fish here in Poland. I am not sure of the name, but these are some nice fish. I was lucky with this one. This was a lone lobster. I was searching for a dog teeth snapper and I saw it on the way back to the top. So I made a next dive and spear it.
That was a red belly. And as I mentioned, there were one and two. Here's the next one. I only took a few scales of it. This was our next red belly dive. I got no chance there. This next one came from out the rock, so I took it instead. Next jack to the string, we were mainly seeing them. So this was our next red belly. Spear this one, the spear catching the belly area, so that one tore off. So Kenado finally found a big fish, a barracuda. He wasn't targeting any today, but that one showed itself and Kenado took it. I saw some grunts and here is 42 feet. I made a dive and sneak down on this rock. You can see a few. This one gave me a clear shot. hunting real hard for these fish. The last time we came here we stayed mainly in the shallow and we find some lovely fish but not this time around. I made an next dive where the grunts were. None was out on the top, but a few was down below. I gave up on them though. I saw next barracuda. I got a good chance with one before, but I didn't take it. So this next one, I made a dive on it. I really could have gone in closer on this one, but I just took the long shot and the spear dropped to the side. So that's it for the underwater segment yes my people so we jump out of the water you know we spend about two hours we jump off from right over there here and swim go down the sea and what we saw the last time we see a lot of red belly and gold tail the last time but this time around why we not see them here on the water Oh no, I go on boy, but the water we would have said the water as well. We would have said the water dead today, you know. The water dead, but you know, we come out first, Canada come out after. Yeah, man. And you know, we still find a nice catch, good, good catch, same way. We give a lot of thanks for. So, this is what we found. So, this is what I found. Find one nice lobster, yeah. Nice one. 
find one a butterfish and look red belly there so find three nice jack yeah we well, have to find the grunt here yeah. and also this one I'm not sure what them call that one eh? that one is nice well fat so that's my catch I'll get them clean up here now Kenara come in you now. Yeah man. Kenara get a decent catch as well. Kenara huh? find two and nice gun here. Nice one. A nice red belly there. You know? Five on Barra. He, he get chances with Barra but as I say, I don't really have the interest in a bar now. So I don't really force the chance. I like how I would have forced them. I know I would have get one of the bar ones. I know I would have get the last one. I never did a run. I just left him. Somebody asked me for bar. But it is where that first is right now, I don't get the goddess. I mean I have a fridge space to keep him so it makes sense to keep him, I shoot him and I wonder when I go to eat him. So I just leave him, you know what next day. So that's a canard catch. A nice barra. You grunt a red belly, you know? And on me finish my clean up. Nice to catch it too. Tanks, you know? Nice lapsack. Go get them a string up here now. Get out of that, you know? Just finish cleaning up his fish. So we finish up with everything, you know, and um, I go hit the road, you know? Because as we, as we mentioned earlier on the video, Come off of the ice, you know. 
Yeah, man. I never wear this string, but you know, I wear it now and see how much power I really catch. Because I need that hope for a 5 power, yeah? Mm, yeah, we it still. We yeah, wear it include the lobster so much. Can okay, I just suppose to wear for him then, but I never get to wear these. Because we did the a little yes, because, you know? So, I go wear them. Yeah. So, one nice tree and a half. And I'm coming them out on the outside, yeah? Yeah, man, see that? 3.6, well, that's 6. So, that little over three and a half. But three and a half, that, you know? I don't work for a five, but I shot a one and a half. But yeah, man, nice catch this, you know? Nice. I should even include the lobster still, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to prepare something more tight still. So, just go and watch. These are what is going to get prepared. Alright. The catch might look different from no what is going to prepare look different from the catch, right? Because these are today's catch. And um the dive up my few days ago. So we now cook nothing when we catch at Portland. We catch these in St. Mary today. But we just have to put the this a cook up on the end of Portland dive. Yeah man, so we catch this fish today. I don't know where in him. I'll be knowing tough like a one in a on a scale. And you have some juki juki in some spine here so and them here so dangerous. But to a stand out though pan him, two things stand out. Nava on a scale and um, take out the brush, right? Nava on a scale and he's in tough. And the sharp knife, me have a sack, I have to try to put them in slice and I yeah, man. So, he have a look like a mackerel, see me? Um, have a mackerel look. The video after this, you guys are gonna see when we catch him. So, stay tuned for that. And a different cook up, I got up on that video as well. Different day catch cook up. Yeah, man, but this. But anyway, I'm gonna fry him still. Let's see how, it, how him taste, how him turn out. And also, get, get catch today, get caught today, this nice. Two and a half pound butter jack. I give one of my friend half of him. Yeah, man. So I'll cook the next half you know, also. And this lionfish. Mm -hmm. So they're well seasoned you now. Yeah, man. I'm going to see where the tough fish are going with. Yeah. You're now, man. Just a normal fry. You see this now, my people? I'm going to the pot last. As you say, you see, puffy, puffy, puffy. And now I'm going to steal it up. What happened? I'm frying it off a jack jack. Yeah, man, and I'm lying to it first. Hold on me. You guys go see that capture, man. The video up after this, you know. Nice dive, you know. We don't capture huge fish, but we get some nice guys. Nice jack, you know, and some other fish. So we now have to fry these crisps. Yeah man. So I'll get them up because I'll cook them down back. So I'll take out these and I'll have this. Free dying, you know. Alright, now for the boy then. And this is my first thing. I use my olive oil in my face. I look at this. It's in this way, you know? 
Fish am going eat me and lean up, but I take a piece of the jack still. Yeah, man, never eat the fish, I'm going to see you in taste. I tell you, it's normal, tough and tough, you know. But when you fry, it gets soft, so you know, see really. So you go here now. Yeah, man, so once more, thanks for watching. As I always give thanks all the time for the support. Yeah, man, and NASA links, I say. I do see you guys in the next video, alright?